Hi guys, and welcome back. This is uh, episode 2 of my RimWorld Let's Play. I uh, thank you for joining me uh, in past episode 1. Uh, we will be doing a commentary you know, with, with the episode as it's going along now, so it'll be a little bit uh, better, hopefully. I've actually uh, <laughs> already played this, uh, this section once. Uh, I had kind of a video glitch and I had to reload the save and, and play it again. Uh, the game will most likely do it differently, so it won't be a surprise to me this kind of time. But I might mention, you know, you know, things that haven't happened. It's kind of weird in my mind because I'll be doing some of the, <laughs> the same things here, but at least I'll have an idea of what's going on and I can share it with you guys. I didn't make it too far, I only made it about an hour ahead. Also. So, so over here, um, I, the the problem with this is like people will come up from the bottom here to attack us. Because the raiders will come off map, so they're gonna come from either here or you know one of these points or you know up top. If they come from up top, you know they'll, they'll either come this way, which we we need to make a little defensive standpoint here. Or if they come from, you know, over here, they'll probably just rush straight in to our, to our defenses here. But when they come down, they actually wrap around this wall and then come up. So we'll need to make kind of like a, uh, we'll need to make a top defense, a side defense, and a bottom defense in this area. So that our guys don't end up, you know, shooting at each other. Just kind of issue. I'm going to speed it up here until at least someone wakes up. Looking at what we have going on here, make sure that, um, that we have things going. Okay, so they're they're making our food benches now. Fuel that, and yeah, we have plenty of, plenty of wood going at the moment. Uh, when when you do make the few the food areas here, in o in order for them to start making food, oh, marriage is on. Falcon has accepted Sparkle's marriage proposal. Oh, cool. Right. Well, we can set up a, a, a marriage a zone to to say where they're going to be married at. So there, there's the marriage uh, spot icon, but. Uh, here's a beauty. If you click this right here, it shows you basically the beauty or lack thereof of an area. So we want to kind of do it where you know there's fair, like a fair amount of beauty involved. Hopefully, it's not like a rain. <laughs> so probably like right here contains the most flowers to offset this environment. I guess we could do it inside of one of the houses, like inside their house would actually probably not be terrible. Look at all those tubes. Just get them to clean a little bit. Uh, the marriage usually doesn't happen right away. It's usually something that will happen over over time. Um, they'll have uh, like their, you know, ceremony and whatnot. I think we could do it in here, honestly. We can make them a new house and just have this as like a social area. Hmm. Nah, we'll just leave it up here. That's fine. Put it right. <coughs> Turn off the beauty thing. Kind of annoying me. Alright, let's continue going. Oh, uh, I was talking about the food. So in order to for them to actually work on these uh, these benches, you have to add a bill for them to actually make stuff. So we want them to be making food for us, so we don't want to add uh, the kibble, we want to add a butchered creature. And we just want them to do that forever, because they'll they'll turn the, uh, the food into usable meat that we can cook. Simple meals or fine meals. The, uh, to cook the fine meal, see, it requires a cooking skill of six. I don't believe we have anyone that can do that yet. Yeah, see, none of your colonists have this skill. And then to cook the uh, lavish meal, it's actually ten, so we're, we're a good ways away from that probably end up finding another colonist that'll be better at uh, making meals. Anyway, uh, you have three options here. Do X times, do until you have X, or do forever. Well, since it's food, and we're always going to need it, we'll do until you have X, and we'll set it up to something that they can't possibly eat in a couple days, so about 20. 
Uh, colonists do eat I think, two or three meals a day, um, so you need you know between six and nine meals to make it through a day. Uh, currently, we have 15, so we have we have a couple days uh, available, and there's there's actually more meals over here. So food's not super essential, but it, it is nice to get going um, early on, so, so that we don't run out. And all of these caterpillars really want to kill them, so, especially since we have the food going now. But how essential is it that we do that? I mean, it's going to be so much food. There's no way we'll eat all that, and we're actually doing okay. I, I kind of want to wait and see if. If they're still around whenever we start actually running low on food, just slaughter quite a few of them. Having having the same animal like this um, will give us. Oh, here's a visitor. Let's check this out. Uh, a digger visiting colony. Oh, do you have Mr. Trade? Cool. We like trading things. All right, we'll have uh, our best social character go and talk to him. So it's Valyria, yeah. All right, Valyria will go talk to them when they get a little closer to town. He's making his way over. Anyway, um, having the same animal uh, hides allows uh, our tailor to make uh, clothes, you know, ba based off that material. Um, the tailor apparently does not, or is not able to combine different leathers and whatnot to make clothes. So. He'll need like 50 of one leather to uh, make like a pants or shirt or something like that. And I think dusters are like 75. I don't know if we'll be going for dusters. Probably coats. We'll let to see. I mean, it's it's winter now and it's actually not cold outside, so this may be a really hot area. All right, we're just gonna talk to this guy. We'll go back down to the speak speed. Come trade with me. Alright, so how the trade screen works is uh, the things that we own are on the left, and the things that uh, he's going to sell us are on the right. He's actually have, he has a silver spear. damage six weapon cooldown. I mean it's not that good. I think I think honestly it's because it's made out of silver is the reason it's so expensive. So we won't be buying that. Honestly we couldn't afford it anyway. Um, and then he's got some fruit. Uh, we're actually fine on food. Uh, can we sell him anything? We can sell him berries. It's gonna gain us nothing. Alright, well sorry dude. We don't need you. Uh, thank you for providing us with defense while you're here. <laughs> I guess. So at the moment, until our, our crops come up, and uh, until we actually go hunting, blackjack is our one source of, of food. So, so blackjack, you know, get hungry again and go kill some. Oh, I haven't read the uh, comments on the first video to uh, to get anything for sparkles. Uh, the video just released today, so no one has commented anything. So we're stuck with sparkles. Looks like we're finally starting to get things hauled in. Um, you know, since they're hauling here, they're probably pretty close to done with the hauling. Um, have them pick that up. Since it's going to take a day to spoil, hopefully we can get it back in time. The rain is really a problem on this map. Here's some steel. Um, so the problem about rain is uh, items like medicine that you leave in the open will deteriorate. Well, deteriorating makes them obviously less useful. And since we have 24 medicine, that's actually kind of a big deal that it's becoming less useful. Um, so we need to work on having a storage area for these materials that we want to be out of the rain. Like wood wood surprisingly doesn't 
Well, it actually does degrade as well. A steel does not. It's good that wood does. Makes sense. Apparently rat leather does, but it's not actually degrading. It's at 100. I mean, we just put it out there. But... Hmm. So we want a storage area. I think I think we want to put it here. I guess we could lay this out while our guys are doing things. Um, and I need to set them to do more things just in case. Um, we, we do want to set up our security. I mean, our guys are terrible shots, so we need them to be able to hide behind something. Um, so maybe... I mean, when they come up, we want to fire here. And then, if they're attacking from this direction, we want a little bit of defense that way. And then, we do have to defend from the top as well, but maybe not as much. Now, we want to go ahead and go on. So, we'll just make like a little box here for them to chill in. And that, this just deflects like incoming fire. Uh, if they stand right behind it, they, they have an easy time shooting over it, but with someone shooting at them, it deflects a lot of fire. And uh, if they're melee, they actually slow down when they're going through the sandbags, so you can kind of back your guys up a little bit and shoot at them. Of course, your fire would be a little deflected, and they have to slow down so you get more shots in them. Lyrius, do we have to beat the beast, which is uh, scheduled? Yeah, we do. That's why he's staying up later. Okay, well, we want to make another defensive uh, point over here as well. Um, kind of more problematic over here, they have this wall that will help them uh, defending, and it kind of blocks our sight lines. We're going to remove it, but for now, I mean, my guys, you, you don't want to build your defenses too far out, because assume they, you know, spawn here, they, they have a direct shot at us, so for whatever our guys are doing, they'll have to stop doing that and then run up here. Well, by the time they get here, you know, they're already here, so we want our defenses a little bit closer to home here. Probably in this area, we probably don't need that much, honestly. Take off a little bit of that. Our trader guy is leaving. Doesn't really care. And then uh, we want to deconstruct uh, this. Plain neutral structures for the colony. Uh, I don't care about that. We want to deconstruct this here and then we use the tool. So that they can't hide behind it. Thing. All right, so now everything's uh, fairly decent there. Right, what do we want to start working on now? These packages meals don't actually spoil. These will spoil in three days. This spoils tomorrow. It's that. Okay, that's rat meat. They go and pick up the animal over here. I think they did. I think that's why. This is here. Yeah, the chintilla. This meat's not around, so they must have already turned it into food. We have plenty of food for right now. I don't think that it's a priority. I think this is the more of the priority. I have kind of like an idea of what I want here. I want to do that, and then maybe a little bit further over. Then we want to set up a structure here. Something like that. Make it all out of wood. We have quite a bit of steel. We will need that steel though. There's more steel here, here. That this really close and it'll help us get going. door here so they can easily get in and out. I'm going to make another door in this area. This will be where we store weapons, apparel, and uh, things like, you know, uh, 
medicine that, that'll that degrade outside that we actually care about. The wood will almost always get used immediately, so it's not really worth putting that in a building unless, you know, we, we have a uh, kind of a downtime that we're able to do things like that. On, on this screen, I think when I go to manual priorities, it gives you a lot more control over what uh, your colonists are able to do. And I actually like the micromanagement, so... Since it looks like you'll be here for a while, so we're going to give the community a name. Oh, we're going to call it Avalon. <laughs> we made it. No, no thanks. Alright, so Falcon's going to get doing his thing here. We need to put a, a floor in this room. of this they've like had to walk down in here to play stuff. Struck compacted machinery. Probably end up needing more trees to do all this work. They had a um, time. This is what it is. Eight now. So maybe that's it. Falcon goes to sleep here in a second. Hold on. When it hits nine. Quick work of the construction. Really, really good at that. Quite fast. Boom lobes are such a problem. They set everything on fire. So we did pretty much finish this. We need to cut down this tree. Yeah, it's quite a bit of construction work. Alright, so yeah, it is the ninth hour in Falcon's own bed. So that's a time right there. Yeah, if it's 71 degrees in the winter, what is it gonna be like during the summer? We're gonna need ACs in like every apartment. Which, how many days do we have until summer? Six. Eh, quite a few. 27 days. She's almost done with this. Before I, before I finish off of this, I think I'm going to allow her to uh, go and make these defenses up there just in case they attack from the top. here. Rice is 16% grown. Potato is actually growing faster right now. Maybe I have this wrong. I wanted to look. Harvest quickly, strong bird style crop. Just like the crop leaf. I mean, I guess you can eat potatoes raw, but you can't eat this raw. It's supposed to grow faster. Fertility requirement. Huh. A 
Maybe it's just the environment that we're in isn't like growing rice. Potatoes and the cotton seem to be growing really well. The rice is well, the, this cotton is growing well, but this one's not. Uh, maybe it has to do with uh, with what the terrain is on. I haven't really gotten super into the farming on this game. You usually have enough food with just uh, hunting and whatnot. Food is really just a plan ahead type thing in this game. You, if you don't have a plan for what you're going to do for food, then you're going to get screwed. But if you have somewhat of a plan, then you're fine. Is that in, in an entire steel wall? I guess I didn't realize that. I thought it was slate. That's pretty cool. You got a lot of steel from that. I wonder if I could have used that for like a structure. Nah. Alright, they're almost done with that, so let's go ahead and start them working on the next project over here, which is finishing out our supply room. I actually want this to be a door here. We're gonna dig out this area. Did you just lock yourself in there? It's so bad. How are you gonna get out? sleeping that long. Blame your, uh, blame your lover's daughter. I kind of forgot about this area. We want to block this off. Um, actually, no, we don't. It, it's just weird that we got a mad animal from this direction. The, the uh, enemy raiders can't spawn from over here, so we don't really care unless, it, well, I guess, unless they come from, like, a spaceship. Fire at the rat. You gonna do it? Fire at You suck. They should have gave him the knife. Yeah, you share blue the knife, too. Oh no! And she's like totally digging herself in. Like, look, prioritize mining that. Okay, he killed it. Hurt by just one bite. All right, that's okay. Do we have a medic? That's not you. Medicine one, medicine four. Your medicine's three. So actually, Sparkles is our medic. Anyway, he'll go back to bed, and then I can get. Please do not create that. What are you doing? Don't lock her in more. Oh no. Look, you. Get out from behind there, crazy person. No, stop going in there. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> I don't create it while you're in there. Okay, good. You're smarter than your daughter. Hopefully. No, you're not. You just locked yourself in. Prioritize. I need to make you a miner so that you can work on this. Falcon, wake up. We need your mining skills. Alright, she can leave 
now. Ah, that was horrible. Let's, let's not do that again. Alright, actually you need to prioritize healing him if he's still hurt. Yeah. Also, we want to turn you off my face. Because no. You're terrible at it. You don't have enough energy for it. Okay, we want to set up a zone inside of here. And this is just going to be our stockpile area. So that this zone want to clear everything and then allow We want medicine in here. Yep, there we go. And we want food in there. Uh, we'll put items in there, as well as weapons and apparel. And that's it. Yep, that's set up. Alright, so the next thing that we'll work on, um, I guess we have two things really. We need a new house for a potential new member, so we don't have to work on it whenever they get here. And then we want kind of a, a storage area for food, so that they can drop off their food in a storage room. So we, we can clean out that now. So we want kind of an airlock, so there'll be a door here the airlock and then we can make this we can put a power plant there and here so these will be doors and then in this area will be our food container and I think the AC units will do an 8 by 8 so that's 8 so then we'll want to go one out like that And then in this area here, we'll have, uh, next to here we want the textiles area. So that'll look like this, with a door here, here, and then in this area will be our research area, and probably have a door here. So we'll probably want a door here. They don't have to always go through the freezer to get to these other locations. And that'll set up basically our, our basic setup at the start. And then down here, I think the next thing we want to work on is actually our next house. house we'll put right next to here. And then we can do another row of houses along here. I kind of want to remove this door. She's sleeping, so we're not going to do it right now. But Set this to prefer. 
preferred priority, and then over here we actually want to remove um, the medicine and things that we, we want over there immediately uh, from this from this list so that they stop putting it here. And and they'll actually remove the things that are here and move it over there when they have uh, when they're on hauling. They don't have anything else to do. Chop down a tree. And we're almost out of wood, so we'll need to chop down more trees to get this uh, created and this up at the top created. So we'll set them up to chop down a couple more trees. And just kind of do the trees that are in the area. Hawkins is almost done with the mining here. It's so good that he's he's actually good at mining. Making some real progress on his uh, next level too because of his affinity toward it. I mean, other than mining, though, he has some really awful stats, so he, he's going to be our miner for sure. We can actually go ahead and crank his mining up. And uh, on these, we want to go ahead and set um, these to like their highest priority, so that they'll always do uh, these first three, first four things. Because they're they're actually really needed. Like they they need to do those. Um, other than that, you know, things like this they can they can do whenever they get to it. But. And for Falcon, we probably want his mining and cooking to be set on the same level. Um, we we'll want him to cook whenever he can, and then mine after that. Lyra also has an affinity for mining, and she's actually a seven. I mean, half as good as Falcon, but still pretty decent. Don't need two repairs. Looks like Lear has an affinity, so we'll remove sparkles from repair. I will leave two constructors actually turn um, Lyra's up, so she does that for these. She actually has an affinity, a strong affinity for handling pets. So we need to get her doing that um, when we're not constructing things. We have quite a bit of construction to do though for her. So that'll have to wait. Not a lot to repair right now. Um, growing. Eh, should be okay. We kind of want to leave that as like a four. So she'll do that when she has nothing better to do. I mean, hauling and cleaning probably take priority over that, but, you know, assuming that she absolutely has nothing to do, she will go cut plants. And then Falcon, if he's not doing these other things, he'll haul and clean, so... Priorities are set. Let's go ahead and fill in rest of that zone before I forget about it and never do it. I also want to remove um, all of the uh, junk from this area. You meditating or something? Could you, could you stop and get back to work? Uh, you prob probably need it. Don't, you don't want to disturb them when they're doing things like this. Um, it, it messes with their, their mood and whatnot. See, the problem with having this door here is she's going to get the disturbed sleep because people will use her um, house because it's faster than running through here because of the terrain debuffs. <laughs> this is 100% walk speed. This is uh, 87 and this is a diagonal so they'll use her house instead of you know, walking around. So this door needs to go. And since she's awake, we can do that right now. Huge. Oh, well, we're gonna eat. See what she does after this, and I might get her to prioritize removing the door. Alright, she's already gonna do it. Of course you're already gonna. You don't like that door being there either. So what were you thinking? What do you want to do now? Hey, build build this one first.
medicine. No, we have plenty of medicine. It was just when they were moving it, we didn't have any. I'd like those two to stack. I guess they won't because the durabilities are different. We need to clean up their environments. We probably we could set. Um, I mean, since Sparkles really is only good for hauling right now, we can set her cleaning up to a two. And when she's not doing one of these three, she'll do cleaning first. And then once things are clean, she'll start doing her other thing. And that'll keep our guys really happy. Low food. Is it because he's moving food? No, it's because we have low food. Two simple meals and 11 packages. Um, so we need to hunt today. What do we want to hunt? What do we have available in the menus? Chinchilla fur and rat fur. So rat or chinchillas. There's a chinchilla. Hunt that. Our cat killed all the rats in the area. I think so. I wonder if these count as rats. Like big rats, right? A couple rats. Oh, we'll hunt those in this. Falcon, it's, uh, it's time to go hunting. I mean, even with this amount of food, I, I think we have a, a couple of uh, a couple of days left under our belt. I guess we did get the food from over here, though. I wonder what happened to our food. Something eating it. It's not us. Let's go ahead and get the uh, work on the food storage here. So that'll be the next uh, item on the agenda. Actually, can leave this. Delete that. just gonna help us serve as walls so that we don't have to build quite as much right now. Go up to a slightly faster speed here. So how much wood do we have now? Survivor. Let's go ahead and take a look. He came in from the top. He actually spawned with a club. That's pretty cool. He's fairly decent at shooting. That's good. We needed another guy with a gun. Um, he's a jogger. Oh, faster movement speed. That's good. Chemical fascination. <laughs> so this guy might be named Tom. Cold lover. Alright, so he's not Tom. <laughs> a jogger and a person who likes beer, but likes the cold. So he's like Tom that never entered the military. <laughs> I think it's definitely going to be Tom. He's even good at crafting. 
Yeah, we're, we're gonna name this guy Tom. Age 18, youthful Tom. Pre-military Tom. <laughs> Oh crap! You fighting some? Oh, you're hunting. <laughs> you have really terrible melee skill, and you're trying to kill this rat with your melee weapon. Yeah, I think you're already losing this fight. Why did you go hunting first? There's nothing to cook. There's nothing to handle. Uh, you're smithing and tailing. Tailoring. You're actually worse at tailoring than Lyria is, so you won't be doing that. Your smithing's worse, too. <laughs> you can cook, hunt, haul, and clean. Like a perfect marine right now. <laughs> You're actually better at cooking. You will definitely be our cook. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just turn Falcon off to it. Um, hunting. We're actually pretty close. We'll leave them both on. Your handling skill. It's not bad. We'll leave you on that. You have an affinity for it. Uh, your mining skill. We're going to turn you on mining just because you, you don't have a whole lot else to do right now. Um, you don't have an affinity toward it, so you won't necessarily gain much out of it. Uh, you're going to be a plant cutter. Alright. I really, I really don't want you to do this, but now that you've engaged the rat, you kind of have to... Uh, tune in next time to see the fate of Tom. Actually, uh, I just kind of, like, messed up and recorded two episodes at once without a, uh, a cut. Because, you know, I'm, I'm a noob at this. Um, but I've got me a little uh, timer going on. So the, you know, the episode four, I guess, will be correct. Episode three will end right, but we will have a little cut edit at the beginning of uh, episode, episode three. Uh, see the fate of Tom. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, please tune in next time. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, please give me a name for, uh, for Sparkles. Alright, I'll see you.